Now to the latest on that massive fire at Notre Dame in Paris. Our Jacob Rascone reporting that France has announced a worldwide competition for architects to design a replacement for the cathedral's spire. This is $1 billion in donations pour in from all around the world to help rebuild that landmark. Tonight we're hearing from Americans who were in Paris and saw the fire. Jacob is joining us once again from Paris, live outside the cathedral. Jacob? Bill, and over my left shoulder, you can see some lights. There are still workers nonstop since the fire was extinguished. They have been assessing the building, which they still describe as fragile. They're trying to build some kind of temporary roof inside to make sure that nothing else fails. This as the hope and the promise of rebuilding is strong here in Paris. The beautiful and sacred music of Notre Dame may be silenced for now, but not outside the cathedral. On the streets of Paris, the most important question tonight is where were you when Notre Dame caught fire? Um, and it just kept growing, and it's like you're stopped in time and watching it and can't look away. Brad Toussaint is a volunteer firefighter back home in Iowa. He toured the Great Towers just hours earlier. He knew even 400 firefighters would struggle to contain this. For myself, it was speechless and a shock, I guess I'd say. But then as I started to look around at the individuals around me, who I'm sure were many of them people that lived in Paris, just to see the pain and horror. Notre Dame is the most visited monument in the world's most visited country. The Smiths came all the way from Boston to go inside, but before they got the chance, so, and then we heard all the smoke in the sky and all the police cars and the high sirens and the whole Paris was so quiet, we felt so sad about it. Sadness and hope that Our Lady of Paris, as it is known in English, will someday come back to life. Those beautiful hymns every night since the fire started. There are new developments in the investigation. A police source tells NBC News that it was probably a computer glitch that sent the firefighters in the first place to the wrong section of the roof, which caused a 23-minute delay before they started fighting the fire. And by that time, it was too big and it spread too quickly. But as you mentioned at the top, already in these few short days, nearly $1 billion has been pledged towards the rebuilding. Live in Paris, Jacob Brascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jacob.